Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we're back to a lovely little drum fill. Um, it's kind of intermediate level if you're playing it slowly, but obviously the faster you play it, the harder it gets, so sort of the more advanced it gets. It's a split pattern between the hands and the feet. Whenever we're playing the hands, it's always like right, left, right, left, so single strokes. And we've got some double kicks in there as well. It's fairly simple, just sort of like a little pattern of four of the hands, two of the foot, four of the hands, two of the foot, two of the hand, two of the foot, four of the hands, two of the foot, four of the hands, two of the foot, four of the hands to finish. If you've got all that and you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give it a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so let's dive into the sticking pattern just between the snare drum and the kick drum. Uh, we'll get this down first and then I'll share a nice little orchestration I've come up with for this particular pattern. And then the idea is go away, be creative and then come up with your own version of it as well. So if we just have a look, the, like it's two measures long or one measure of 30 second notes, but if we, we'll count it as sort of two bars of 16th notes. Um, the first part of bar one is going to be Four with the hands, two with the foot. Every single note is evenly spaced apart and every time I'm playing, you know, my hands is always like, I'm leaning with my stronger hands, so right, left, right, left, right, left. So we go, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Then again, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. It's up to 12 notes already and then we finish off with right, left, kick, kick. Okay, so measure one. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Nice and simple. We're going to pretty much take that same idea and use it in measure two as well. But instead of finishing with two of the hands, two of the foot at the end, I find it's a little bit easier if you don't finish with two kicks because you've also got to get that bass drum and crash again. So you end up going, eh, 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 eh. and when you're playing that at higher tempos, that's really difficult. So we're just going to finish with four on the hand. So measure two, one, two, three, four, kick, kick, one, two, three, four, kick, kick, one, two, three, four, kick, kick, one, two, three, four boom. All together, measure one, one, two, three, Some groove. One more time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That was right, yeah. Okay, so let's just pop up there very quickly. I'll blast it out as sort of two measures of 16th notes and then a, you know, a single measure of 30 second notes. So I'll play it twice as fast and cram it into half the amount of time. You'll see what I mean. Here we go. So I think we can all agree it sounds much better as 30 second notes. So we're aiming for that kind of speed. But obviously, as you're starting off, take it slow, internalize the pattern, and before long, we're blasting it out nice and quickly. Right, once you get that down, we're then going to move on to sort of some nice little orchestration ideas. I'm just going to show you one for this particular sticking pattern, but of course you can just take the idea and move it anywhere around the kit. But this one sounds quite cool, and it goes. First part is exactly the same, so it's four, hand, uh, sorry, four notes of a snare jam. One, two, three, four, kick, kick. Then we're going to take our right hand and go snare. Then our left hand, high, floor, snare, kick, kick. So that's just snare, high, floor, snare, kick. And then we've got two notes with the hands and two notes with the foot to finish, which should just be snap, snap, kick, kick. So the first measure with this new orchestration, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. All right, we're now gonna start measure two with that pattern again. And then back on the snare. So it's kind of like symmetrical, apart from the end, which kind of ruins it. So we're gonna start off um, measure two, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Then back on the snare, one, two, three, four, kick, kick. And then if you want, you could do right, left, right, left to finish, or right, left, right, left. You can kind of chuck those notes wherever you want, but move it away from the snare drum, and if you sort of get, put it around the toms like we did with some of the other little patterns of four, um, again, it sort of sounds like there's a system in place, which I like. So here we go, all the way through. One, two, 
Let's do that one more time. So here we go. I'll try and count it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a crash. Yeah. Okay, let's chuck in some groove. Two bars of 16th notes, so sort of same speed. And, and that's it. So that's my particular idea. Of course, you can do, like I said, whatever you want with it. I'm not going to go into examples because there's so many. Um, what I'll do now, if I just play this particular orchestration at like a few different speeds, I'll just sort of, you know, bear it between playing as two bars of 16th notes, which sounds okay, and then blasting out a 32nd notes where it sounds awesome. So uh, here we go. 16th. <laughs> Alright guys, there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to go and grab the sheet music from onlinedrummer.com. You can download it for free. Also over there you will find uh, my ebooks and quick start guides to playing drums. If you look in the description below you will find links to Facebook, Twitter and my Patreon page if you want to show a bit of support. So, until next time drummers, take care, keep drumming and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. Alright, see you later.